Hey and welcome back. In this video, I will quickly show you how you can use Azure OpenAI Service with the OpenAI SDK in Python to make API calls programmatically. In this case, for security reasons, we won't be using an API key, but rather an Azure Active Directory based authentication using OAuth2. So the first thing we need to make sure um, is that your user actually has the correct uh, permission in Azure Active Directory. And you can check if you go to your Azure resource up here and then look it up here, you should see what permissions you have assigned to or what roles you have assigned to. And what you need to have is something like Cognitive Services, OpenAI Contributor or User Role, because this grants you the permission that you can programmatically through or auth authenticate at the service. Once you have confirmed that you have this, let's go over to VS Code where we can get going. Um, in this case, I have installed the OpenAI SDK, just pip install OpenAI. And what I'm doing here is the following. First of all, I'm getting the credential using either a managed identity or CLI credentials. So on this machine, I'm logged into the Azure CLI. So I did an AC login on CLI. Or in this case, you can see here, my VS Code is actually also logged in. So what will happen if I run this code and then run the credential get token code against the cognitive services endpoint, it will actually give me your OAuth2 access token that I can use to authenticate at the Azure OpenAI service. Now, how do I do that? What we will need to do is we will need to pass the OpenAI, the API key from our access token. Then we actually need to tell it that we want to use our Azure OpenAI resource so this resource is of this format and you can actually just replace the asterisk here with whatever you can find here. That's the resource name and it also states it here. And then you need to make sure the API type is set to Azure AD so that the SDK knows that you are authenticating to Azure. And then lastly, you can set the API version here. And then what I'm doing here in my example is I'm, I have a deployment text DaVinci 3, that's the name in the Azure OpenAI service, and I have this little um, airport code extractor prompt example from OpenAI. And then lastly, what I can do is I can just call the completion API with my engine, which is the DaVinci 3, with my prompt and the max token count. And then I get back the response and we can print it. So if I run this, you should actually see that it generates the completion and the response was MCO and Boston. And that is Orlando and Boston, so everything worked fine. And this is an easy way how you can use Azure OpenAI service without having to use a API key. So that means no key leakage, no security problems, and everything should be a lot easier with that. Thank you, and see you in the next video.